Hey guys, Tom here um, for the first um, first Friday, the first weekly update of the Dark One Daddy vlog. I said last video I was going to start doing them weekly every Friday, so this is the first one, and it's been a sort of it's been an okay week. Um, we've had a um, few ups and downs um, financially, but I got paid today, so it wasn't too bad. We kind of sorted the financial part of it out. Um, but yeah, um, let me get comfortable here. Get me a cup of tea and me wreck it round mug. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty good um, couple of days, really. Again, I mean, again, we, we, we had we had we've had a few stumps, but we're gonna we're getting them sorted. We're getting them fixed. Um, Jacob, um, we noticed a few days ago. Jacob was having a lot of gook in his eye here. Um, I wonder what it was. And you know, I can't remember the fucking name of it now. It's it, a blocked tear duct. I can't remember the actual name, but he had a blocked tear duct, which is a, a, a par which is a, another very common thing for babies to get. Um, so we got they gave us some eye drops. We had to do a, a, I think it's twice or three times a day. Um, and you got to keep it cold, keep it in the fridge. And to be honest, after the we were still doing it, but after like the first couple of days using it. It cleared right up. His eyes looking brilliant now, but yeah, it's it's something like it's a blocked tear duct. So you know, every now and again, I was getting a lot of gook in his eye, and um, we'd have to clean out with a cotton bud, a bit of warm water and a cotton bud. Um, and we're still doing it, um, but his eyes, like I say, his eyes, it, it it cleared up really quickly. That, but yeah, as a blocked tear duct, so we had that. Um, but again, that sort of sorted. Um, the pooing, it kind of. Um, it's it's gone. It really has gone to like one poo a day, and then, and it's still quite hard. Yesterday, however, he did really well. Actually, the we, we we're getting him on the laxatives now. I mean, we we I, t I said last week that we had him on the laxatives, and and it's really starting to take effect now. It's starting to poo much, much more naturally and lot lot less straining. He's not even crying now, and he's doing it, which is much better. Um, and he's he's he he, he pooed a lot. Um. Is it today? I think it's today. He's pooed a lot. He's it's good. It's good anyway. We're, we're quite happy with it. So it's uh, and he, he's doing fine. He's such a good kid. He's 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 like the ultimate first baby because it's like he he sleeps pretty much through the night now. He gets up once. I think I mentioned that already. But he gets up once at about four o'clock for food. So we get him up. We get him fed. We get him back in bed. I, well, I do. Um, because Tracy takes the morning feed. That's I think I told you our, our routine. That was how we did it. Um, but yeah, and it, it's like it, it's like if you're a first time parent, he's the perfect kind of kid because he has problems, but they're not like serious problems. They're just sort of enough to keep you on your toes. And the you know, it's like okay, there's a light, there's a slight problem. It's like it's like if I don't know if you ever if you ever done like a driving the the written driving test and it gives you like. A video, doesn't it? And it gives you like all these minor problems that oh, you've got to you've got to spot that, or you've got to spot all the all the things. It's kind of like that in a way. It's kind of like you know some of these issues. They're not mega issues, but you've got to keep out. You've got to keep your eye out for them because you've got to, you know you've got to make a note of them. And that's kind of what it is. He's not any sort of serious issues at the moment, which thank you know thank you know, touch wood. Um, Again, he's the the the, the pooing's getting better. The tears are fine. The thrush is gone. We've told we've used up all the all the medicine for the thrush, and that's gone now. So he's totally cleared of the thrush. Um, he's got a lot. He's got dry skin, and we're not sure if it's just dry skin or if it's potentially um, eczema. We don't know. Tracy, you know Tracy's family does have cases of people with eczema, so it's possible. But again, it's not a serious case of eczema and to, after a bit of baby lotion he's he's right as rain so it's probably just dry skin i think i think it's just dry skin because he's obviously wearing layers and he gets hot and i think it's and we're giving him so i i think it's i don't think it's, it's not a serious case of eczema anyway it's just like his legs every now and again gets a bit um so it but he's he's but as far as being a kid goes you see all these like horror, you hear all these stories, and you see it on like movies and television about oh, kid babies are a nightmare. And I suppose some can be like that, but he really hasn't. He's been an absolute, he's an absolute pleasure. I'm not apart from the pissing, he pisses on me all the fucking time, 
every time I change him, literally, I'll take his nappy off, I'll get, I'll prepare to cover his, you know, his wee wee up with something, but before I even get to that point, he pisses and he pisses all over the floor. So he's doing that a lot. It's just kind of annoying. He's being, and he's, he is being a bit stingy with his burps at the moment. We don't know why. He's just not burping as, as easily as he, as, as we'd like him to. Um, which you've got to be careful for, because we found out a few times if if you keep if you if you try and burp him he doesn't burp and you keep feeding him and you, he hasn't burped, it's a very good chance he might throw up. If he keeps eating after and he's not burped and you, or if you if you give him if you let him take a big load of of milk in one go and just don't let up, I think this only applies to formula. Um, there's a very good chance he's he's going to hock it up because he's, he's he's thrown up a couple of times. Um, this last week, just because he either drank it too fast or he drank it, he drank it. We tried burping him. He didn't. He gave us like a little burp, and then we went back to feeding him, and then he just he just fewed up. Um, so he obviously didn't burp him enough. So you've really got to, you've really got to be committed to 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 getting that to getting that big burp. And his burps are starting to stink. They really are getting some big. You know, proper stinky. I mean, it's milk. It's like formula milk. So I'm not surprised it stinks, but fuck, it stinks when he rips a burp. Now, um, today was all right. We went to, we we went to my mum's mum's house. Mom, so my mum and Brian, my stepdad, uh, for for heater Friday. Get some fajitas on, and um, we went to see. We left baby with my mum while we went to go see. Star Wars, and before you start saying, I thought you had money issues, X. They, they are basically they treated us. They said, no, well, do you want to go to cinema? We got a deal. You can go to cinema. We'll, we'll pay for it. We'll pay for all of it. You go to cinema. We'll, go, we'll have the baby. And we're like, oh, you just want to look after the baby, don't you? That's all you care about. You just want to get rid of us. So you can look at. You can bloody play with baby for a few hours, and they're like, yeah, sussed us out. There we we did. And you again, that's going back to what I said a few weeks ago about having always having family who are just going to be there who would just want to you know do everything to make life easier for you and you should just accept that you know it's you should never feel bad about accepting help from your friend, fa- friends or family strangers kind of different but when it's people you know care about you you shouldn't feel bad about taking that support because it's just a case of they want to help you not out of pity but out of love they want you to have a good life you know I mean it, 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 I mean, if some, if if you went, like, I don't like be- people begging on the street, and I, I don't want someone to call me and going, oh, can you give me some money, or can you help me, with, can you give me some money? Because, yeah, yeah, if I gave them money, it would be out of pity, and I don't want, I don't, I don't want someone to help me out of pity. If, if someone wants to help me, I want them because they genuinely care about me, and they want to, they want to see to see me through hardships, and that's kind of the difference between having family and friends helping you, and then and just asking a stranger on the street, you know. Um, but yeah, I think it's it's just one of those things, you know. And it, they have been really great through all this. It's good to have them there. It's good to have good good family around you when you when you're going through. It. Even even a kid, even a kid as good as Jacob, it's always um, important to have have family who are going to be there for you. Um, I think that's kind of it, really. I think I've gone over most of the week's activities because we've not really gone out much. This is the first, this is the only time we've been out. Um, I know Tracy didn't really enjoy it today. She was because um, she's in Star Wars, right? She's the kind of person who I want to see Star Wars, and to be honest, there's anything else on. There's nothing else I wanted to see, and um, I really wanted to watch Star Wars again. But she's the kind of person she doesn't need to watch a film. She's once she's seen a film, she doesn't really need to see it straight away. Even even though we saw it in December when it first came out um, to Tracy she's like yeah well I've already seen it I don't need to see it again so soon to her a month is too soon it's too soon to see it to see a film a second time but she kind of did it for me and I think that's just another reason why I respect and <laughs> love that woman a bit it's because um, I've, I've been a fucking I'm a, I'm a nightmare I really am a nightmare to live with people and if you if you watch all my friends and all you guys watching if you if you like my, what I'm about and you like my comedy and you're like oh yeah he's the kind of guy I like to hang out with yeah I'm great to hang out with I'm I'm terrible I'm awful to live with I really am um 
And and you should never if you think for a second, oh yeah, it'd be great having him as a roommate and living with him. It wouldn't, wouldn't I, I, it would be a pain in the ass, and he'd hate me by the end of the week. Um, because I'm a very I'm not a very social person. I know it sounds weird, but I'm really not. I like I really like my privacy. Is it, believe it or not, you know that's. I like to be social when I want to be social, but people more if when I'm at home, I kind of like to be, you know, my own area and do my own thing, you know. Um, kind of hard to do now because Tracy's. Um, I don't think I mentioned Tracy's now sticking to her full maternity. She's gonna. She's now officially on maternity now until September. She's staying on maternity now or until this September. So. Uh, that's probably for the bit. We worked out that was for the bit. I think we did. Oh, we did discuss it. We I remember we did actually discuss it last week. Um, but yeah, she's just been. That's another thing as well. Is having a baby, having living with someone in general, but definitely having a baby. You need. If it's if it's your first, you really need someone in your corner who just, you know, is on your case. Well, not on your case in a bad way, but like you just who knows who. It's a good. Me and Tracy are a great team. When we get down to it, me and Tracy are a fucking great team. We did something the other day where we were going out. We were taking Jacob out. We're getting him in the car, and we were like this well-oiled machine. It's like I took, I I had Jakey, so I took her key. I unlocked the door. I got her in the car. Well, Tracy took my key. Did all the how? Did all the finishing up? Locked the house. Uh, got in the car, I locked Jakey and we both got in and we sort of passed our, 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 our keys to each other and put in our pockets and off we went and it was like, it was like it was rehearsed, it was amazing. But it, and it's, and that's what I mean, Tracy's, to me, Tracy is more than a friend, she's more than a fiance, you know, more than my significant other, she's, she's my ultimate tag team partner. You know, I mean, I said, and she Tracy said to me, she went, am I your best friend? And I went, no, am I my best friend? And she got upset by that. She was like, what do you mean? Well, am I not your best friend? I went, well, no, not really. I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. <laughs> you know, I care for you very dearly, but you're you're the person I'm, I'm in love with. You know, you're my fiancé. That's that's like a level, that's a whole level above best friend, you know? You know what I mean? It wasn't, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I care about Martin more than you. It's just, you know, Martin's my best friend. Martin's, yeah, right, yeah. Martin's my best friend. You know, you're my fiance. You're gonna be my wife. That's like up here, sort of thing. So I said, no, you're not my best friend. Martin's my best friend. You're my wife. You're my fiance, my wife to be. You know, that's a whole different, whole different ball game. And it really is. I don't always think about, oh yeah, uh, you marry your best friend and it will be the best. No, because to be honest, as far as females go, I have there are females I have more in common with than Tracy, but it's. It wouldn't work because you don't want a partner who's exactly like you. It's, you know, I mean, I hate myself, so I wouldn't want anyone who's fucking exactly like me. Uh, I'm a cunt. Why would I want to go out with someone who's like me? But Tracy and I, it's, it's a, it's a partnership. It's we're a team, and that's what's important in any relationship. I know I've gone off topic here, um, but these vlogs are about how babies, how the babies affect my life, and this is kind of really. And having the baby really sort of put that into perspective is, you know, because it, it doesn't just affect my life and, you know, about how this baby, it, it affects how I am with other people, especially Tracy, the mother of my child. And you, it really brings it into perspective that it is a partnership and, you know, you have to have the right chemistry. It not necessarily mean you have to, you know, be the same person. You have to have everything in common because, you know, for example, Tracy loves more fantasy. I'm into sci-fi. Tracy hates Star Trek. I adore Star Trek. Stuff like that. You know what I mean? So, we 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 are we are we have as many opposites as we do, you know, attracts. You know, many. Do we have many? We have just as much things in common as we as we do we don't in common. But that's just it. You know, you don't you can't fit two pieces that are exactly the same together the pieces have got to be different they've got to connect perfectly and that's a that to me is a partnership um and I think that is a relationship that will work and that one you know that that is a relationship that's going to stick and having having little jacobs really put that in perspective for me it's like to be honest i couldn't have done this without her you know she did such an amazing job carrying it and 
you know, she's still trying to get over her own stuff as well with the gold stones and everything. So it really makes you appreciate um, everyone in your life who's who who is a part of this this journey. Not just Tracy, but my family, my friends, everyone who's who's offered me support. And it's just you know, it 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 lays it all down there. It makes you wonder. It makes you think about it. So yeah. The lesson, I suppose, the lesson, the week's lesson can be to always appreciate the people who are sharing this journey with you because you need them. You might not think you do, but you do. Having a kid is no, no laughing matter. It's not. It's. I was saying to Tracy today how it's still a bit weird. Like I look at Jacob and I'm like, that is my son, and it's like that's mine. That's part of me, and it's still. It's a month. It's been four weeks to the day. Four weeks, pretty much. He's four weeks old today, and it's still not. It's not quite settled. You know what I mean? It's not. It's still not quite sunk in yet. It's not. I see him. And I'm just like, that's my son. You know that, that. That's mine, and it's a great feeling. It really is. But you, you've got to think. This isn't. It's a big change in your life because it's. It's. It's something that's gonna you you are now responsible for for the rest of your life. You know, I don't think I, I said this a while ago that you become connected to it, and that's what it, and that's what I did, and and it's not something to be taken lightly. So you should never take any the people in who are sharing this journey with you lightly. You should appreciate, respect, and love everyone who is offering their time and their, their experiences and just their their their, their generosity and, and, and their just their generalness to help you with your with your newborn, with your child, whether it's your first, whether it's your fifty first, it doesn't matter, but you will always need help, you know, with 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 raising things because life is just as it is, it just changes all the time. But yeah, so the, so always appreciate everyone and everything and um yeah. And don't be a dick. <laughs> that can be the other rule as well. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm gonna give that, make that the end of this week's uh, vlog. Tune in next Friday, where I will update you on more information as and when it comes. So take care, you guys. Oh, um, I know next week Jacob's having a scan on his legs because he was um because he was a C-section. It's because he was a C-section because he was breech. One of the two. There's a reason, but when when you're either a C-section baby or you're a breech baby, they have to check your legs, make sure they're developed right. They fucking have. I don't even. I don't need a doctor to tell me that kid can already move himself. He's on his back and he kicks it. He'll put his leg on like what, down and push himself back. That kid is so fucking strong. So I don't really need a doctor to tell me his legs are fine. I'm gonna sit there and go, his legs are fine, and the doctor's gonna be like. Yeah, it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I was like, Doctor, he could probably... But in fact, I wouldn't be surprised by the time... By the time we have him to the fucking doctor, he's fucking got a cane and a hat and doing hello, my baby, hello, my fucking honey. Like that fucking cartoon frog. Wouldn't surprise me if he was doing that by then. So I'll let you know how that goes anyway, but he's perfectly healthy uh, and he's doing brilliantly. So I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for joining me.